Sappers from Missouri National Guard's 1141st were tasked with building a small outpost to be used by the Afghan National Army in an area of significant activity in an effort to quell the conflict. On the way to the build site, the insurgents had placed a few surprises in the road. Nothing these sappers hadn't seen before. On several occasions. It wasn't until the late afternoon that the RCP arrived, but the fighting position still needed to be built as quickly as possible, and so the work began. In this particular area, mortars and IEDs are not an uncommon occurrence. They'll probably hit us with mortars or rockets. Uh, that's their weapon of choice here. It keeps them at a distance. They don't lose people. They don't have to engage us directly, and I think they will try to do that. So as the platoon worked all through the night, they also waited for the sound of a mortar's all-too-familiar whistle, praying not to be dialed in by insurgents. By the next morning, the outer perimeter was completed with HESCO barriers, and the work on the roof of one of the four guard towers was beginning. It's believed that this wadi um, supports a lot of the AAF activity and the IED traffic. That whole area right there, they've put, uh, well, over 10 IEDs in the past few months just right there. So by this position being here, it's going to deny them that, that area to target us. Replacements arrived just as the tower was being finished. It was up to the next group to finish everything over the next 24 hours. And with the threat of enemy mortar fire looming, it was a goal that all the soldiers were eager to meet. Reporting near Salerno, Afghanistan, I'm Public Affairs Officer, Lieutenant Seth Iliff.